Autocrat is an excellent add-on for mail merging from Google Sheets to Google Docs, Slides, or PDF files. To begin, you're going to need a spreadsheet of your data. You can collect this with a Google Form if you want to. I will be using a form. This is optional, but this makes it easier for me to collect my data. In addition to a spreadsheet of data, you will need a Google Doc template that you want to merge information into. For my example, I'm going to use this certificate, but this could be letters, invitations, whatever you want. On the document that you want information to merge into, you need to add merge tags using the angle brackets. Inside each set of brackets, put text that is similar to or matches the column headers from your spreadsheet. You will be mapping the tags you are typing here to your spreadsheet columns, and that will be a lot easier if the titles are similar. If you want any of your merged text to have special formatting like bold or colors, you will add that just like you normally do when you're adjusting font properties. Once you have your document set up with merge tag placeholders, you are ready to begin the merge. From your spreadsheet, go to Add-ons and select Autocrat. If you don't have it, choose Get Add-ons and install it. Once you have Autocrat installed, go ahead and launch it. Choose New Job to set up a new merge. And give your job a name. Then click Next. Now you need to select the document or template that your information is going to merge into. In my case, that is my certificate template. I will choose From Drive, search for it, and locate that template. Once I do, I get a quick message that Autocrat is fetching the tags or bracketed placeholders that I put on that document. Click Next. Now I need to map each bracketed tag from my template to the column on my spreadsheet that will be referenced when merging in the information. I made the text inside my tags very similar to the names of my columns, so this is a pretty easy process. Once you have mapped all your data, click Next. Decide how you want your merged files to be named. You can use bracketed tags here so titles can be customized. But when you are adding the text inside the bracketed tags here, you do need to make sure that it matches the text of the spreadsheet column exactly. We are not able to map here, so type carefully. Now you will decide the format of your merged files. I could have my data merge into Google Docs certificates, which would be editable by the people that receive them. But I'm going to toggle this to PDF so that users are not able to change the contents of the certificates I send. Multiple output mode will merge each row of data from my spreadsheet into a separate PDF file, which is ideal for my purposes because I will be emailing individual files to people. However, if you want to merge a large batch of certificates and just want to print them locally, then you can instead choose single output mode so all of the certificates merge into one big PDF file with a page break between each. Click Next again. All of these merged files need to live somewhere in my Google Drive. Autocrat is showing this folder by default because it's the one I used last. But if you want a different folder to house your merged PDF or Google Doc files, choose a different one. Click Next. I do not use dynamic folder references, so I'm going to click Next here too. And I do not need merge conditions because I want all of the data on my spreadsheet to be merged. So I'm going to skip this step. Step 8 is another one that you may not need if you're planning to print your documents, but I want Autocrat to email these certificates out for me automatically. So I'm going to set the sharing as yes, so people can view their certificates without getting permission errors. Then in the To field for the emails, I will add a bracketed tag for the email addresses so that each certificate is sent to the correct person. Add an email subject line and whatever text you want to be included in the body of the email. Again, you can insert merge tags into these areas if you want to customize the messages. I do want the action of someone filling out my form to cause all of the merging magic to happen. So I will change the run on form trigger to yes. If you're not using a form to collect your data, you're just printing certificates and not emailing things, you can just skip this step or leave it set as no. Alternately, you can also set up a time trigger so that your merge happens every hour or so. Step nine is my last step. So from here, I just need to click Save. My merge job is ready. And to start it up, I just need to click this Play button. 
This will cause Autocrat to merge all of the existing rows of data. And I can see that Autocrat is adding some columns to my spreadsheet, showing me the status of the merge. It also provides some convenient links to the merged documents. If anything didn't look good here, I could go back and edit my document, but everything here looks great. Since I set the form trigger to yes, when someone new fills out my form, Autocrat will immediately merge their data into a certificate and email it to them. And here is an example of what one of those emails looks like. Whether you want to print or email custom documents to others, Autocrat is a great add-on to easily facilitate the mail merging process.